In this button, I'm going to be going over if else statements, which is where it checks for something, and then if it is that, then it'll do something, and then if it isn't that or else, then it will do something else. So we're going to declare an int, and we'll call it x is equal to 5. You may be thinking, well, you're, you've already declared x in the other button. Well, it doesn't matter, because you're not bringing up the button in this one right now anyway, so I can still use it. Okay, so now we're going to do if, and whenever you're, uh, whenever you're declaring what the, what the, um, whenever you're declaring what the, uh, occasion is, you have to put it in the, um, parenthesis. Okay, so if, and then the parentheses is basically this happens. So we're going to do if x is equal to 10. You may be asking why I put in two, um, two equal signs. Well, whenever you're comparing something, this is comparison. We're comparing x to 10. So you, if you put in one equal sign, then it'll just be setting it to 10. And that's very bad. You need to be comparing, not setting. So there. Don't don't add in a, uh, a semicolon here because we're just uh, creating an if statement. Okay, so just go uh, after if you need to create a uh, a, bra a curly bracket and close curly bracket. That's uh, to hold y your if statement. Hold what what happens when that happens when this is equal to ten. Okay, so we're gonna create another message box. We're gonna show uh, if. Uh, x is equal to 10, then x is 10. And it tells you that. Okay, and now we're going to go over here and do else. So if it isn't equal to 10, we don't have to put in if x isn't equal to 10. We can just do else because it's something else than what we put in up here. And create your curly brackets. Create a space between that. And now we're going to do message box. And we're going to say x is isn't 10 okay so now we run our program and we click button 2 and it comes up as x isn't 10 because we set it to 5 so basically it'll keep saying that we'll get into more detail on these later in a different uh, tutorial okay now we're gonna go out in our third button double click the button and what we're going to be doing is we're going to put in we're going to put in another if, except we're not going to have an else for this one. Okay, just follow me on this. We'll do int, and we'll call it some value. And now we're going to set that equal to four. And after we've set that equal to four, we're going to create another string. We'll call it name. And we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna call it Bobo, I guess. Bobo Jr. Let's close that off, and let's create another if statement. And here we're gonna be comparing two things, basically. Some value. So if some value is equal to four. And now we're gonna do we're gonna add another one. So we're gonna do and and. You have to put in two ands. Um, and if you wanted to com declare, uh, if you wanted to say if this or this is equal to something else, then you would do this. Okay. So let's just do and because we want to include the other thing. And name is equal to. Bobo Jr. And then we close that off with uh, another one. Each one of these things we're comparing has to, e um, each one of these has to be in a uh, parentheses. Oh, I made a error right here. Put in two. You all, that that can make some, cause some real problems. You have to put in two of these. It can do a lot of damage. Now let's clear, create our brackets um, right here. And now we're going to do a message box, of course. One of my favorite things. And we're going to say x is... No, <laughs> not x. 
well actually yeah I'll just call it X is 4 and the name is Bobo now and then we're gonna add another line right after that but it's gonna be outside of the curly bracket and it's gonna be a message box and we'll put in this line runs no matter what so e since this isn't in the if statement that will run no matter what it'll run after the if statement is done so let's run this and let's try button 3 x is 4 and the name is Bobo and then this line runs no matter what okay that works out now let's go and add one for our last button okay the last button is a concept I will be going over that is hard for some people to grasp the while and for loops they are basically loops that say that if this if this is happening then continue this just keep doing it over and over again until this is not the same so we'll just be oh, let me show you let's go, uh, declare an int called count we'll say it's equal to zero and let's just go ahead and create our while loop okay so while and then count is less than 10 this happens and we'll just put what happens right in here which is count equals count plus one so each uh, it'll go through multiple times until count is and it'll go through multiple times until count is greater than 10 then it won't run anymore so we put in count is equal to count plus one so whenever this runs it adds one to count so eventually this will stop running it's not an infinite loop and then we create another one called a four and a for loop well it's really hard to explain basically you declare three things you declare an int and I'm gonna call mine i is equal to zero that's being declared whenever you uh, whenever you create the for loop so it says this this is not being compared then you add a semicolon and then you say i is less than five so as long as i is less than five and then it says uh, something to happen whenever this runs and then it does i plus plus is what I'm going to do. So it adds one to i every time it runs. But now we're going to create what happens also when it runs. And that's going to be count equals count minus one. So this will run and then this will run and then it will loop back over and run it over again. And then this for loop will run as long as... Um, this for loop, for loop will run as long as i is less than 5. So each time it'll add 1 to i until this is not true, and then it'll only run the while loop. And that'll run until this isn't true, so then it'll stop running. And whenever all of that is done, we're going to go ahead and add in one after this. This is message box. We're going to do a message box. And then we're going to say count is... Or actually, the answer is plus count. So it'll display the count after that loop is done. Okay, so the many as many times as this will run, it'll turn out to be. Oh, forgot the semicolon. It'll turn out to be a, uh, the count will end up as something. It'll probably end up to ten because this is less than 10 not less than equal to 10 if I wanted less than equal to 10 then it would have to be more than 10 in order for this to stop let's run this okay so when you click the fourth button the answer is 5 oh right okay uh, it takes a little mathematics some time to figure this stuff out yep so it turns out to be 5 but whenever it stops huh I guess there's more to it anyways um that is our small program that I just went over on to give you some basis of this code. My next tutorial will be in just a... I'll be posting it up a little bit after this one. It's going to be uh, something much cooler. This is just basics. 
Um, remember to subscribe to my channel, Xylogeist. And uh, thanks for all of your uh, support. And signing off.